Hello everyone, welcome to Center Stack. In today's session, I'm going to show you how to share a file folder from Center Stack. First, we're going to log in with our tenant admin credentials. And once we're logged in, we're going to be in the dashboard and we're going to select My Files. Here we are in the web portal and you can see the list of all the folders and the files. I'm going to right click on a folder to see the context menu and I see a share option here. And there's also another share option in the button menu. I'm going to select the share option from the right context menu. We're in the edit share window and I'm going to click on invite users to share. I'm going to enter the email address of the user who I want to share the folder with. There's a notes window here where you could add some notes. I'm going to write test folder and click continue. Here I can specify the share expiration time for this share folder. And if you click, you could access from here all the options we have. I'm going to select one month for this share folder. And this is an internal center stack user, so I could I can give this user read-only access or full control access. I'm going to select full control. And here we have some notifications that we can enable for this user. If you check send email notification when file is downloaded, if there's any files that are being downloaded in the share folder, the tenant admin will receive email notifications. If you check send email notification when files are being uploaded, if there's any files that are being uploaded in the share folder, the tenant admin will receive notifications. If you check notify user for any change, any changes in this folder, if there's any changes made such as rename, delete, edit, editing the files, the tenant admin will receive notification. I have checked all three notifications, so they are enabled. I'm going to click Share. And you could see that my folder has been shared to this user. This user has full control. The expiration time is one month. And all three notifications are enabled for this folder. And we have an Edit Share menu here that has some options such as Show Share Link, Email Again, edit, share, and delete, and we will do another session to go into more details with these options. I'm going to X out and go back to the web portal, and I'm going to right-click to share a file now, which is the same way you right-click to, ac to access the share option here, or you click on the share option here. I'm going to select this option this time, and we're in the edit share window again. You click on invite users. I'm going to type in the email address of the user who I want to share the file with, and I'm sharing it to the same user. I'm going to type in some notes, and I'm going to click on Continue. I'm going to specify the share expiration time. We have the same options. I'm going to select one week this time. I'm going to give this user either read-only or full access. I'm going to give it full access since this is an internal user. I'm going to enable all three notifications and click Share. And as you could see, my file has been shared with this user. This user has full control. The expiration time is seven days. And all three notifications have been enabled. I'm going to take you to the web portal of this user, so we're going to log in with the credentials. You can also access these shares from email. I will show you that in a minute. When you log in, you're in the web portal of the user. You're going to go and click on Places. And you're going to select File Shared with me since we want to share the file that's where folders that were shared to this user. And you could see the folder that was shared here, and it was shared by Joe at CenterStack, and the file also that was shared from Joe from CenterStack. And I'm going to click on the folder, and you could see all the subfolders and files inside that shared folder. I'm going to right click on a folder to show you this user has all. Um, the full control access, and here he could upload files and create folder. 
I'm gonna create a folder just to show you. He has full access permission, so we could create folders. I'm gonna go up a level back to files shared with me and click on the file. And here you could access the file. Now I'm going to take you into the email of this user and you could see the shared folder invitation. And I'm gonna click in there. You could see the notes that I added for the share folder. You could see the folder name and there's a link you could click on here to access the folder. And the expiration time, I'm gonna click on the folder. Since this is an internal user, we need to log in with their credentials. And now when we log in, we will directly see the folder and the file that was shared. So I'm going to go back into the email and show you the shared file invitation. You could see the, the notes, the file name, the link where you could access the share with, and the expiration time, duration, and I'm going to click on file. Click here to log in. We're going to log in to the credentials of this user. This is an internal user. In here, you will see the file. And now I'm going to take you back to the tenant admins web portal. I'm going to X out here and go to the main web portal. Click here. And here I want to show you the shared items. When you click on manage, you could see the list of shared items. You could see that we have shared only two items so far. And this is how you share a file folder through center stack. Thank you.